Our verse for today is from Genesis chapter 17, verse 1. When Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to Abram and said to him, I am God Almighty. Walk before me and be blameless. The story and the journey of Abraham with God started from Genesis chapter 12, verse 1, when God invited him with an imperative, Go from your country. This command had a promise attached. God promised to make him a great nation, to bless him and make his name great. Genesis 12, 3, 2 to 3. By this time, Abraham was 75 years old when he first responded to God and left Haran as the Lord had told him. Genesis 12, verse 4. In Genesis 15, verse 1, God appeared to him again and said, Fear not, Abraham. I am your shield. Your reward shall be great. At this point, Abraham expressed his worry and challenged God, saying, O oh Lord God, what will you give me? For I continue to be childless, and the heir of my house is the heir of Damascus. God assured him that his own son, not Eliezer, shall be his heir. When Abraham was 86 years old, Hagar, the slave girl of his wife Sarah, bore him Ishmael. Now it took 11 years after God called him and made him a promise before Abraham became a father. In our verse today, dear friends, the narrator tells us that the Lord appeared to Abraham and the emphasis here is on the clause when Abraham was 99 years old. Even at this old age, God was still giving him more commands. He says, walk before me and be blameless. To walk before or in front of somebody usually expresses the service or devotion of a faithful servant to his king. And so this faithfulness is what God demands from Abraham. The second one, be blameless. And it is from the Hebrew word tamim, which also translates to be complete or to be perfect. And this is the attitude and the state God requires of Abraham. And it comes with a renewed promise. God says, and I will make my covenant between me and you. And I will multiply you exceedingly. Genesis 17, verse 2. Abraham was 100 years old when God fulfilled his promise with the birth of Isaac. Genesis 21, verse 5. My dear brothers and sisters, the life of Abraham is a great lesson for us. Like Abraham, we are invited to break away from our comfort zones of life. We are expected to walk daily before God and to live a blameless, faultless, complete and perfect life. Abraham is a perfect example of a man who trusts in God and waits on God even in a very difficult and gloomy situation when there appears to be no hope. Now he was 75 years old when God called him and made him a promise. It took 11 years before God fulfilled his promise and another 14 years for the promise to be fully manifested, 25 years of waiting. Dear friends, God never fails. He is a covenant-keeping God. God proves himself even when, people, even when all hope is lost. How long have you waited on God? Have you lost hope? Humanly speaking, the wife of Abraham had passed the age of childbearing. But when God remembered his servant Abraham and his promise and covenant with him, age was no longer a barrier. Why must age be a barrier to you as a child of God? When God is involved, there is no obstacle, there is no barrier. We must walk before God and be blameless as we wait on him. Do not be afraid. God has promised you, God will not fail you. God's time is the best. 
God broke the barriers of nature to bless Abraham. May God break every wall of obstacles and barriers in your lives and disgrace the powers that have caused you pain and sorrows. May God's light shine upon you and release your blessing in its fullness. Amen. Peace be with you.